Hi family, welcome back to our channel. It's great to be here with you today. I hope your day is going well so far. I want to thank you once more family for you all are so gracious. You're so kind. All of your prayers, all of your acts of kindness. Thank all of you so very much. We're praying for you. I want you to hang in there. I don't want you to give up even if you feel like it. Don't give up. I want you to know that you can do anything you want to do in this life. You can. People tell you that you can't do something because they don't have what it takes to do what they want to do on themselves. You can do anything that you want to do in your life and people will tell you and they will discourage you not to do the things that God has purpose in your heart to do. And the reason why people would do this, the reason why people will tell you what you cannot do because they don't have what it takes to do what they need to get done for themselves. Can you imagine that you have the courage to go for your dreams? You have the courage to reach the sky. And then you have that one person, you have that individual who will tell you a million reasons why you can't do something. This person or these people that tell you that and who will discourage you from going for your goals, these people can't do it on their own. They can't. Anybody who tells you what you cannot do, any person that would discourage you into doing something great in this world, you remove yourself from these people. Pray about that because they know they don't have what it takes to do what they want to do. A lot of people are so jealous of other people's dreams, are so jealous and envious of so many people's lives, and it's so sad. Some people are just lazy and they don't want to put the work in. And when they see a really hardworking person, when they see you, how hardworking that you are, how dedicated that you are, they hate that. They hate the characteristics that you have because they don't have them. They don't want to nurture their own gift. They don't want to nurture the things that they know they need to nurture in order to be successful. You can't be successful hanging around people who poke holes in your dreams. You can't be successful by hanging around those people who always discourage you and always point out things to you that discourages you as to why you can't do something. God tells us that we can do all things through Christ Jesus. You know, so many people are so envious. So many people are so jealous. Before the Lord returns, he tells us in the Gospels that that spirit of manipulation is going to be rampant in the earth. This is a sign of his coming. That spirit of manipulation, it is running ruthless in our world. It is running ruthless in our country. They'll tell you what you can't do because they don't have what it takes to do what they want to do on their own. And they'll try to talk you out of it. Don't let anybody talk you out of doing something that you know that's going to bring you joy, that's going to bring you fulfillment, that's going to be a blessing to somebody else's life. Don't allow anybody to do that. This is a sign, family, that you have the wrong people in your company. You have the wrong people in your circle. You know, so many people hate people that just know how to do life and how to get things done. When you know how to do life and whenever you know how to get things done and whenever you change to be a better person whenever you change the way you live, whenever you change the way you move, whenever you change your environment, whenever you change the people that you deal with, not that you think you're better. Some people are just low vibrational. And when God elevates you, then you can't stay in that place with those people. So let people have their say. You have to always remember this. People are going to always have something to say. They're going to always have something to say. They're going to say something about you, family, when you do the right thing, and they're surely going to say something about you whenever you miss the mark. So you have a decision to make. What are you going to do? Are you going to allow the opinions of people to stop you from being the great person that God called you to be? Don't let anybody stop you from being great. Don't let anybody stop you from going for your goals. You have so many haters, but your haters are honestly and truly, they honor you, and they'll never tell you. They do. They applaud you behind the scenes because they watch you so much. You know, you have so many people not liking you, but they watch you religiously. They watch you religiously, but they don't like you, but they want to learn from you, but they'll never let you know it. But you know what? Thank God that they watch you. Thank God that they learn from you. You don't have to know it. You're very impactful. And whenever you're impactful, whenever you have the seed of greatness on the inside of you, you're going to attract a lot of good people and you're going to attract not so, not so many people that are good for you. 
but it doesn't matter family you go and do what you desire to do in this world we got one shot at this world in this world what i mean by one shot i mean we have one life and don't spend the remaining days that god has given you in worry and dread and fear and anxiety what are you worrying about today what is pressing on your heart it doesn't matter how big that problem is god said don't be anxious for anything god said why are you worrying he said, don't be anxious for anything. He said, but in everything, through prayer and supplication. He said, let your request be made known unto me. Don't worry. You just pray. If you're praying, do not worry because you have no need to worry. I know it's easily said than done, but it takes a lot of discipline in your spirit not to worry. Been where you are, family. And we have to work at this daily. We do. Because we all face battles. We all face hardships. We all go through things in life. But at the end of the day, God is going to come through for you. He may not come when you want him to come, but he's going to be there. And he's going to come right in the nick of time. He is. You know, sometimes you think you're going to fold. And sometimes you think you need what you don't have. And God's letting you know you don't need what you don't have. You need exactly what I, I have allowed to stay in your life. Whatever you need, God is going to supply that. Because he said, I will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. When you know how to think for yourself, people hate your guts because you know how to use your mind and use your brain and think. People will discourage you. People will tell you what you can't do. When you were little, when you were a little girl, when you were a little boy and you had dreams. And people will stomp on your dreams. They will tell you that you're, you're dreaming too big and you think too highly of yourself and, and you're thinking too much. No, don't stop people from dreaming and don't allow people to stop you from dreaming. Do not. God put these dreams on the inside of you. That inspiration that you have, those desires that you have, where do you think these desires come from? You didn't just wake up, family, and have those desires to do these things. So you walk this stuff out and you learn how to turn a deaf ear to negativity. You got to turn a, a deaf ear to negativity. It doesn't matter how close you are to somebody because this is where that interference is going to come from. It's going to come from everywhere, but it's surely going to come by way of the most of those people who are the closest to you because the devil knows you are most affected by people who are closest to you. Whenever you are betrayed, it hurts you the most by the people that you trusted. This is what tears you down emotionally. This is why you have a hard time getting back on your feet. This is why you go through so much heartache and heartbreak and pain. Because it's that person that walked close to you. It's that person that you trusted with your heart. It's that person that you shared. This is what hurts you the most. When a person that you care about, that you honor, and that you look up to and you respect. When that person tells you what you can't do, it kills a lot of people. It, it, when I say that, I mean it destroys you on the inside. It takes away your confidence. No, this is an assignment by the devil to get in the people who are closest to you that you look up to the most. And if you're not careful, these people are going to talk you out of your dream. They're going to talk you out of your life path for God. They're going to talk you out of doing the things that you have purpose in your heart and your spirit to do. Don't let anybody stop you from doing what you desire to do in this world, family of God. It brings you joy. It brings you fulfillment. And God put that in your heart for a reason. You have to do it. You must do it. It doesn't matter who doesn't understand it. They're not supposed to understand your journey. They're not called to your particular journey. They're not supposed to understand your vision. They're not. Because that vision is yours. It's not their vision. They can't understand. You know, people will criticize things that, don't, that they don't understand. You've been highly criticized throughout your whole life. You've been highly misunderstood throughout your whole life. Why is that? Because you are different. You are different. You have been marked by God. This is what it means to be peculiar. God said you are a royal priesthood, a chosen generation. You are a peculiar people. That means you're not gonna be you're not gonna be understood. You're, you're gonna be misunderstood more than what you desire to be. This is why whenever you step in the room, you may feel uncomfortable. This is why sometimes you don't fit because you're peculiar. You're not like everybody else. You are different. 
Don't be afraid to be different. Embrace your difference. The, embrace your peculiarness. You are peculiar people. Embrace being peculiar. That is an amazing thing to be. You're different. You're not like everybody else. You know, it's a blessing from heaven that people can see how different that you are. You know, it's a blessing when people can see how rare you are. You know, there are a few rare diamonds in this world and everybody don't have them. But is it anything wrong with that rare diamond? No. It's everything right with it. It's everything right with you. You are so rare. You are so rare. You are peculiar. And you are so unique. And I want you to have confidence in the God on the inside of you. I want you to believe with everything that you have that you can do whatever you desire to do in this world. You can become whatever you want to become. Whenever you put God first and you put the work in, when you work on your skill set, depending on the area that you want to be successful in, in this world, family, you can do that. Don't let these people stop you from going forward to your dream. Don't let these people talk you out of this, this stuff that you wanted to do. They're telling you what you can't do because they don't want to do it themselves. People will tell you what you can't do because they don't have what it takes to do what they want to do. And they see you doing it. And they don't want you to leave them behind. But you're going to leave a lot of people behind because it's God's will. I don't care how much you try to carry somebody with you. If God didn't call that person to your life, it's going to bring you so many, so many problems. Every time you turn around, you're going to be going through some kind of loss. It's the truth. This is how you know when God has called somebody to you. We all go through things, but whenever you always go through something consistently, whenever you attach to certain people, you better let these people go. These people are demonically assigned. We always have an adversary. Yes, he is a defeated foe, but you have to know you have an enemy. You have an enemy. And he's going to come in little subtle, subtle ways that you don't even recognize that you're going to miss. Don't dismiss these small things that's going on in your life. Don't dismiss these things. They will talk you out of going forward in your life if you let it. Don't let anybody talk you out of doing something that you have a heart to do, that's in your heart to do. Don't do that. People talk you out of these things in your life because, family, they don't want you to forget about them. They know where you're going and they know you're going to leave them behind. But sometimes in life, on your journey, God is going to call you to leave things behind. And just like Abraham and Lot, if you take these people with you, you're going to go through so much. Save yourself some problems by obeying God whenever you hear his voice. We love your family. We'll talk later if it be God's will. Thank all of you for what you do. Don't get scammed here. You guys see the scammers family in the comment section. When you get a reply under your comment section, I want you to delete that, please. Please delete that. And I want you to continue to report these people. Don't get scammed. Please don't. I pray for you all, all the time because so many of you are, are reaching out to us through email, asking did we reach out to you, Prophetess Nikki, what happened to that number. I am not reaching out to you, family. We are praying for you here. So delete the reply that you get with my my picture icon or whoever else that you use. Picture icon that you see. Whatever they're pinning in that reply is not coming from this channel. Just delete it. Please delete it. We love you, family. Keep going. Stay hooked up to God. Stay hooked up to God because whenever you are hooked up to God, you can't do nothing but soar. You can't do anything in this life but to soar. You're going from the bottom to the top and you're gonna hit some potholes along the way you are you may be delayed sometimes you might be you may go through some struggles you may go through the fire but God is right there in the fire with you you're gonna come through you are you're gonna go through the fire you can do it pick your dream up pick your goal up whatever you have laid down whatever somebody is trying to talk you out of don't let it be don't let it be, family. Don't let anybody talk you out of doing what you purpose in your heart. That's going to be a huge letdown for some of you. And it has been a huge letdown to some of you because you were so excited to share your news and your desire of the things that you want to build in this life, that you want to do and become. And whenever you open up your mouth and you share that sensitive information to someone, they just took all of the helium out of your balloon. They took all of the air out of your balloon by telling you what you couldn't do, 
by telling you that they didn't think that was a good idea to do. See, this is why it's always important before you air anything to anybody, family. It's always good to pray and ask the Holy Spirit, is it okay to release this information or to share this with this person? It doesn't matter how much we like people. It doesn't matter. You know, you got to remember that people are still human. And some people are in a worse condition than you are. And when, when people see you prospering and they're not, some people can get a little fickle. Some people will change like night and day with you. Some people have changed with you night and day. Some people will change with you just like night and day. They will. Just like you change your shoes. They will change on you just like that because they can feel you leaving them behind. They know that the life that you're going to lead it's going to cause them to be left behind. So people will do their best sometimes. Not all the time. You just have to be careful. They will try to do their best to talk you out of the things that you know you are desiring to do. You know what you want to do. You know that. Don't look at the difficulty. People will poke all kind of holes in your dreams. Showing you every reason why you shouldn't do it. Showing you all the difficulties. They'll tell you how they feel and how it's not a good idea and you shouldn't do that. Don't listen to that don't listen you trust God for yourself if God has put something in your heart to do it you do it because he's gonna give you the grace to do it he's gonna help you to do it and if you fail at it you get back up and you keep trying you trust God because when God see you trust in him family he's gonna work that thing out for you whenever God see you keep trying and trying and trying and you never give up he loves it when you have that spirit of un that you're undefeated you, you're not defeated, people. You're undefeated. And when God sees that in you, that no matter what comes, no matter what he allows to grow your faith, you're not going to give up. You're not going to cave in and throw in that towel. Then God's going to come through for you, family. I love you. We'll talk later. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like and share if you're new. We're so glad to have you here. God bless you. Go and have an amazing day. Whatever you want to make happen. Whatever you want God to make happen for you, make that happen for somebody else. Call somebody that you haven't heard from for a long time. Tell them you love them. Give somebody a hug today. Pray for somebody. Go and serve somebody that needs help today, family of God. Lead somebody to Christ today. Whenever you walk in the midst of people, show kindness. But before you leave their presence, take that as an opportunity to witness, to see do they know our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Don't miss some opportunity. Don't miss one moment to share your faith with somebody. Don't miss one opportunity to share hope with somebody, family. People need hope. They need hope. Give hope today. A lot of people gave you deferred hope, and that's why your heart is sick. They made you a lot of promises, family, and they broke them. You know, God has to teach us before I go how not to put our trust in people because they'll let you down. They'll let you down. Put all your hope in God. Put all your hope and faith in God because he's not going to fail you. Do what you want to do, family. Put God first, and you're going to succeed at it. It may take you a little bit of time, but you don't put a time frame on it. On it. You just stay with it. Stay with it because it's going to work. Talk later.